Next question, Elena. Karina, Karina Chen. This is great. Karina asks, what are my five favorite vocal workouts? Great question. Well, that depends on what I'm trying to do. It depends on what particular issue or problem in my voice that I'm trying to, to work out, okay? Um, but what I would do is utilizing the Four Pillars of Singing book and the online course, knowing my onsets and knowing my vows and being familiar with the vocalese or the workout content in the program, what I do is I build customized training routines. All right, so let's just get you guys up to speed. One of the cool things about the methodology, the TBS method, is that we teach teachers and students how to build your own customized training routines to fix your own problems. Not mine, not Joe's, not anybody else, but your particular problems. And the way we do that is we create different formulas by using the onsets and the vowels, okay? And we end up with little training formulas. It's pretty cool. It's all explained in the book and in the course and what have you. So we call these customized training routines integrated training routines. They're integrated training routines. They integrate onsets and vowels and training content. And it's a routine. Or ITRs. Okay, ITRs. Answering your question, one of my five favorite ITRs, integrated training routines. Well, kind of thinking about it. Um, first, starting with the warm ups, it would probably be the warm up that is in phase one of the training page in our course called track and release track and release the track and release warm-up workout okay um this is the track and release uh onset okay to track means to buzz on a nasal to release means to release a vowel a singing vowel okay nice singing vowel is a so I'm doing a track and release onset into the vowel A. All right. I could do a track and release onset into a different vowel, maybe A. Ah. Do that too. All right. So notice how I'm changing the vowels around. So I'm changing the little formula. All right. Just a little bit of insight on, on what we do here. And in a sense, that's like a little tiny, a little tiny, small integrated training routine. Okay? So um, try to put this in a logical sequence. So starting with the warm-ups, I'd say the track and release onset and releasing into A or releasing into A. Ah. That's one. Okay? Two. Uh, in the in the training formulas here and uh, in TVS the book the course and stuff we do a lot of work with what the ancient Italians would call glissando 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 is just a fancy fancy voice lesson talk for siren okay this is a glissando. <laughs> By the way, don't call it a slide. A slide is something you do at the water park down the street. Okay, they're not slides. They're either sirens, or if you want to get, if you want to impress your friends at a cocktail party, it's a glissando. Okay. Now, sirens are super powerful. As you can see, they don't have individual notes. Like you're not really moving. You're not working with do re mi fa so la. You're not dealing with intervals. And not to suggest that there's something wrong with that, of course. And there's all the other workouts in the program are have intervals and, and, and are working on scale notes. That's equally important. 
But the unique thing about sirens is, is that because there aren't individual notes and it's sort of going through the spectrum of all the, it's kind of an infinite possibility of, of frequency, tone, and color, what that does, if you train it with the proper onsets, is it builds fluidity. It builds, it builds um, uh, flexibility, and it's really super great for training from your chest voice through the vocal break into the head voice, all right? So we do a lot of sirens in here, especially when we're warming up and um, when you're a beginner, actually when you're advanced too. Sirens are important, we wanna do that. They're really great for, for getting fluidity and freedom of movement, in particular through the vocal break, all right? So working on sirens, but I gotta, I gotta put onsets in front of those sirens. So what I would do is number two, the integrated training routine, which is a track and release onset or buzzing through nasals at the bottom, slow and controlled sirens up to a melodic fifth, it's a melodic fifth siren, and then a track and release onset down, back down, okay? This is an integrated training routine uh, utilizing track and release onsets with melodic fifth sirens, and you would do this particular routine as possibly part of your warm-ups. You would do this routine to maybe work on that, on reinforcing the motor skills for cry mode. You definitely would do this routine to kind of work on your bridging, okay? It sounds like this. Now I'm gonna go right to my vocal break. We'll right, put the vocal break in the middle. I wanna go right to the hard stuff. I'm gonna just do chest voice training. That's not what we're doing here. All right, so. C to G, the track from these onsets. I stop, I breathe, I prepare for my second onset, which will be a track and release onset, buzzing on a nasal, releasing into the singing valve A, from the top, back down. Siren to the sonno to the top on a fifth stop, shake it off, breathe, prepare for the second onset, track and release from the top, back down, slow and controlled, always with a thinned out cry vocal mode position. We'll do we'll do a couple more. I'm gonna work up half steps here. Change my vowel from me to the top and then from, uh, from, to the top and then from the top back down, track when these songs set into an off. Okay, that's one of the routines um, that I would recommend. It's sort of light, it's a coordination and tuning routine. It's, it's, uh, um, you could use it as part of your, your, your warm up routine. And it's real basic, all right. Number three, I'm going to give you guys a belting routine, okay. A belting routine, which is designed to increase medial compression, increase close quotient, which is the amount of time the vocal folds remain closed in the oscillation cycle. Okay? Um, a belting routine. So in order to get a little bit more muscly, to get a little bit more aggressive, all right, I'm going to change my onsets. All right? And I'm going to do a dampen and release onset at the bottom and a tack and release onset off the top. A dampen and release onset is characterized by the fact that it starts with plosives. Ba, da, pa, ja, ka. And a, uh, uh, an attack and release onset is a glottal attack, or it's any onset that starts with any vowel. A, a, o, a, e, a, a, e, e, a, a, a. So this is a dampen and release onset. You know 
notice that they all started with plosive. Okay? This is an attack and release onset. It starts with a vowel. Oh, oh, oh. All right? Now, the damp and release onset and the attack and release onset, because I want to try to keep this relatively short, okay, they have unique qualities to them. They have a unique set of features, advantages, and benefits unique to those particular onsets that help you to build chest voice high sound color. Okay. Going with our method here, I can now build an integrated training routine for belting. I can build an integrated training routine for taking chest voice sound color high and getting into belt voice, which is, by the way, no secret, something we all want to do and we all need to practice, okay? Now, these onsets are a little more aggressive than that tractor mini onset I just did, and that's okay. Some of these onsets are, mm, I call them coordination and tuning onsets. So they're a little bit lighter, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more gentle. And then there's a few, like the dampen and release and the attack and release and the contract and release onsets. These onsets are a little more aggressive. They, they engage the musculature a little bit more in a good way. All right, so this is a routine that's great for building musculature um, and belting strength and, and basically pulling chest to the head voice in a safe and proper way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use the same melodic fifth, siren. Big, 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 big. All right, damp and release and pulling to the top. And off the top here, an attack and release or a glottal attack. I'm going to go into the, the vowel, no consonant in front of it. All right, it's just purely straight into the vowel. A, 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 A. Dab and release at the bottom, slow and controlled glissando to the top, stop, rest, come back in with a fresh glottal attack or attack and release onset, and bring it back down. Then what do you do? You do that. You go up one half step, you frame a melodic fifth, and you do it again. Remember when I was talking about the motor skills at the beginning of this, of this broadcast? Train vocal athletes, motor skills, coordination, strength building, 30 to 120 minutes a day, three to five, three to six days a week, all of that. All right, well, this is this is the this is the minutia. You just go up one half step on the keyboard, and guess what? You do it again. And then I said, training routine that will build great strength for your belting or chest pulling high into the head voice in a healthy proper way how do we do it we do sirens and we put dampen and release on sets at the bottom or plosives vowels or a glottal text off the top and we turn it into a workout routine how far you go uh, from man well, maybe up to maybe like a c5 <laughs> All right, 
All right, ladies, you can take it all the way up to maybe a, I don't know, maybe a D or an E. That depends on the individual. But that is workout number three. All right. Four and five, I'll keep them quick. If you go into the program, go down to module four, you'll see all the other vocalese, all the other workouts that are available, and some workouts that are really super fun. Okay, I'm just going to give you two off the top of my mind. Go into module number four after you've done your warm ups, after you've done your siren work. Okay, you feel like you just want to do something a little different, you want, you want to you know, do something a little more fun. Go in all the way down to module four. All right, open it up, take a look at all the available workouts available to you, and I recommend that you try a blues workout called um, Pentatonic the Swinger. Pentatonic the Swinger. Watch the video demonstration on that. It's super fun, and, and students get a lot of growth out of that. And then the fourth or the fifth workout that I recommend that's also really pretty and fun is um, a workout in the grooves. There's a collection of workouts called the grooves, and one of the groove workouts is called the Anthem of Reverie. The Anthem of Reverie. All right? It's really pretty. It's a lot of fun. Watch the video to get a feel for how it goes. All right? So in review, we have the track and release warm-up. We have an integrated training routine utilizing melodic fists with a track and release onset at the bottom and a track and release onset uh, off the top. It's sort of a light coordination and tuning routine. Number three, we have a resistance building, a strength building routine, okay, that utilizes a dampen and release onset at the bottom and a tack and release onset off the top and a melodic fifth glissando, melodic fifth siren. That's used to build a little bit more beef, help you get your belting game on, okay? Number four, Fast forward, go all the way down to module four in the training program. All right, open up all the vocalese, look at a set of pentatonic workouts that are available in the training in the program, and try a workout called the swinger. Really fun. Go down a little bit further, and there's five groove workouts, and try one that I call the anthem of reverie. The anthem of reverie. has a real pretty name. And it's really fun to train. <sighs> Karina, that was a that was a big question. But you know, it's a really good question, and it gives us an opportunity to sort of talk about the workouts. And so I, I appreciate you asking that question. Let's go on. Actually, you guys, I apologize. We can't go on. I went a little a little bit over time. Because I'm going to set up the webinar information that I was telling you guys about, this is the presentation. So scroll down, or scroll up, go register for the webinar, and we're going to, so you're going to see us again online. Don't go anywhere. You're just going to go into a new environment, and um, inside there we'll talk to you a little bit more about our, our warm-up program that we're offering. And um, thank you for coming today. We'll do this again next Thursday morning. And remember, the... Uh, the best thing to do is to continue to stay committed to what you're doing, and I'll see you inside the webinar. Talk to you then.